Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We have some juicy topics to read on today. The year is getting going, things are hotting up. And uh, the first story that I want to read on is one that is really quite interesting. It is about the Twitter account Circle33. And uh, there is a young sleuth on YouTube, and there are lots of sleuths on YouTube, but this uh, is a new one for me. Her channel is called Keep NYC Mega Trash Free. Mega Trash is one word, as far as I can recall. The um, video in question is called Pearls of Stupidity. It is well worth a look very well researched, very interesting, and she is convinced that Meghan Markle herself is running that Circle 33 Twitter account. We all are very suspicious about Meghan Markle's involvement in Omid Scobie's Twitter account, and allegedly she has quite a large input on that account, but now it seems that she herself has taken to Twitter barely disguising herself. Uh, the person in question, whoever it was, and I have to say allegedly Megan, joined in December of 2021, so that's barely a few weeks ago, joined Twitter. She describes herself as a fan of the Sussex brand, TV executive, mother, wife, foodie, and nature. And uh, she follows Tyler Perry, Elon Musk, Katy Perry, AOC, Taylor Swift, The White House, Omid Scobie, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, all the other Democrats, the Clintons, Bill Gates, all the TV um, shows that she'd like to be on, The View, those kinds of things. And also someone I've never heard of called Simona, who the girl who, the young sleuth on YouTube, claims to be the only person who is officially signed up on the IMDB site, the database for all the movies. Uh, Simona, or whoever she is, is the only person officially signed up with Pearl, Megan's show on Netflix, and no sign of David, what's his name? I've gone blank and I can't think of his name, Elton John's husband, David Furnish, who's supposed to be co-producing it with Megan, only Simona. So it is quite compelling, and the most interesting thing of all about the Circle 33 Twitter account. It's Circle Space 33. For those of you who want to rush and look, as I rushed and looked after I watched this video, is that this channel, this um, account, this Twitter account is the source of that claim that CBS uh, exploited and manipulated Harry and Meghan, duped them, like Diana, duped them into doing the Oprah interview. I did a reading on that a few days ago. It seems as if Meghan herself was behind that, uh, let's say allegedly, behind that claim. They were duped like Diana, quote unquote. So I am going to be doing a Celtic cross on this Twitter account and see what's going on. I'm pretty convinced it's Megan. I will ask directly, uh, but we'll look and see what's led up to it. Why suddenly she has taken it upon herself to allegedly go online, to take to social media like this. Uh, was she? What was she thinking with that Oprah story? And uh, what pressure is she under? And the outcome of all of this, will she be outed? I am, let me just finish shuffling, one more shuffle of this deck. Uh, you're all pretty familiar, those of you who have watched this channel for a while, that I am using, familiar with this, this deck I am using. It is, of course, the Crow Tarot. I will show you the box, as I always do, so you can see. Some of you don't seem to be able to hear what I say. I know my strange South African accent. That's the Crow Tarot. It's my go-to tarot deck when I am reading on Twitter accounts in particular, social media, chatter 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 and we have a very interesting new edition a lot of people say that that account strong right is megan it's gone private so it's hard to tell uh, what is going on there i know some people follow it um, 
it does uh, I have looked at it uh, in the past but as I say it's private now It'd be interesting to see how long this one stays public before she too whoever she is decides to go quiet and uh, hide uh, from all of us and I'm not really succeeding in getting these cards into the frame today uh, always a struggle my tiny little space but anyway uh, I do my best and the underlying energy of this reading is the five of cups in reverse crow tarot five of cups in reverse if you can see it it is the unhappy crow the crow that is stuck in sorrow stuck in regret stuck in grief loss heartache it is in the reverse so the crow is either extremely unhappy uh, sorrowful regretful lonely crying over spilled milk or uh, trying a bit its best to move on from that and it does look as if uh, they seem to be leading separate lives at the moment in Montecito according to my readings if this crow is that unhappy uh, drowned a few cups uh, perhaps taken to Twitter in their cups this crow because of that unhappiness because of what is going on in possibly the marriage in the life all the failed uh, schemes and things will move as we go on sorry to make you all a bit seasick and uh, heart of the matter now from Megan's point of view because I do think it's Megan the hanged man in reverse she's tired of being in limbo she's tired of being silent she's tired of hanging around and waiting for things to happen she's tired of being silenced it's the worst thing in the world is to be silenced as we know from the oprah inter interview were you silent or were you silenced mm. she's tired of it she's uh, coming back into the world she's coming back into action she's tired of being sacrificed she's tired of being a martyr she's tired of being a victim she wants to be active she wants to take charge of the situation she wants to own her own narrative again she wants to be the one instead of using omit account as allegedly she did all allegedly all terror reading or my opinion or for entertainment purposes she wants her own twitter account she wants her own social media she wants to say what she wants to say very clear from that so for the challenge that she is facing at the moment <laughs> wow this is a very clear reading and um, these cards do love to read on twitter we have the eight of wands in reverse couldn't be clearer her challenge is that she's blocked on social media she's not for some reason able to go on to social media and it's always been an interesting uh, dilemma for Megan because she ha had that Instagram account she allegedly bought tons of bots tons of followers and it, her numbers screamed up and they were neck and neck with, with with the Cambridges at one stage Harry and Megan she was the most popular royal look 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 how popular I am how quickly my account has grown and then it turned out that they were mostly bots and she seemed to be prevented from taking that Sussex royal account with her rebranding it renaming it I think Instagram stopped her from doing that she wanted to change it when she was stopped by the Queen very smartly from using that brand Sussex Royal brand and she had to become plain Mrs uh, Meghan Markle again and uh, uh, she hasn't for some reason whatever reason gone onto Instagram they've set up their own website the Archiewell website but it is a bit, a bit of a dodgy website a lot of people won't go there I personally won't go there because they track all your details allegedly take them all and use them for marketing they use you to sell on to people uh, that is the story that I have heard all again allegedly but she's blocked uh, from being on social media for now and she's fed up with it she's absolutely fed up with it as I can see from that hanged man in reverse so uh, is it Megan the hidden energy is it Megan the chariot oh yes it is that's a very loud resounding yes uh, it is that um, energy that ambition that political ambition that driving force she is the driving force behind this account absolutely I'm um, sorry that you can't see these cards very well there it is movement organization dynamic movement dy uh, powering forward with that account so that she can be heard she can get out there and spread her stories around such as this Oprah story it absolutely is Meghan Markle according to these cards her focus her goal with this account what is she up to wow ten of swords she feels like her reputation has been ruined that she's finished uh, with that ten of swords um, she's been destroyed she feels very betrayed she feels broken she feels hu hu um, hu humiliated hurt all those swords on the back of that crow um, she's really hit rock bottom uh, she she has 
failed at everything everything she's tried she's failed i say that constantly with megan and uh, but it is true and she is aware of it she's desperate she's absolutely desperate to um, correct the public image of her to get her story out somehow we know that she pays for pieces to be put in people magazine and um all the other magazines i can't think of the other u.s ones that she she's constantly promoting herself in harper's of course omid writes for them uh, vanity fair is, is is favorable to her the places that she usually plants stories perhaps she's running out of money didn't think to ask that but let's see because this is the lead up why why has she gone and uh, there is the answer eight of pentacles in reverse she has run out of money eight of pentacles is a big money card it's spending a lot of money on something it's putting effort in it's trying to make something work it's working hard at something so you can make money but when it's in the reverse whatever you're doing is not working and it's costing you money and i would say that she has run out of money uh, to blow on pr to give to Sun sunshine sex to allegedly pay all these uh, uh, journalists she's got in her pocket they're the same old suspects who show up constantly writing um, glowing accounts of Meghan Markle, Meghan and Harry. Uh, it looks like it's not working, people aren't buying it but also that it is costing her a fortune and she cannot afford it. So interesting. So in the future how is this account going to be going? Uh, will she be going private? Will she be going on? A hierophant in reverse. It looks like she's going to be attacking the royal family. The royal family card, the hierophant, one of many in the tarot but this one is the one of the institution itself the status quo this connection between the royal family and the divine as the leader of the church as very stable it's the taurus it's the queen it's taurus card so obviously it's the queen but it is that organization that hierarchy that higher institution that place where of of integrity uh, uh, allegedly uh, there are people who have some some issues with that at the moment with what's going on in the royal family i'm not going into that here uh, this is about megan trying to undermine the royal family in my opinion uh, that she's going to be really taking pot shots at the royal family and um being quite nasty towards and this is the underlying energy card remember which is the five of cups in river i'm just going to take it away because as i say uh, i'm making a real bungle of trying to get these cards on screen today so uh, the Oprah comment, the CBS comment about being duped like Diana was. What was she thinking when she made that comment? The Six of Cups. She's trying to connect herself with people's feelings about Diana, with uh, the past, with that uh, sentiment that people have, the memories they have of poor Diana on that Martin Bashir interview for the BBC uh, with that droopy head and all that eyeliner and looking woebegone. Uh, there were three people in the marriage. She's trying to connect herself with that. And um, I can remember I was in the UK at the time. I was working in London. I can remember watching that interview and being mesmerized by it and feeling so sorry for Diana. I was much younger. I was much more gullible. I believed it. I fell for it hook, line and sinker. And it's taken me a long time to really understand the complexity of that situation and all the other things that were going on at the time. And of course, none of us knew at this, that time that Diana had really been lied to by Martin Bashir and duped into doing that interview. Megan is trying her best to hook into that, to ride on the coattails of that and to play on our memories, on our memories of the past poor Diana memories and uh, what pressure is Meghan Markle under at the moment with that channel King of Swords I think she is under uh, threat of uh, possibly legal action if she gets uh, too out of hand with that King of Swords that's my lawyer's card that is people in high places who are ruthless who can come down like a ton of bricks on somebody who have the, the power and resources to do so um, legal processes that kind of thing i think she is quite fearful that she's going to be exposed because the king of swords also is the sort of truth and clarity and wisdom and justice and as so it could be that she is quite fearful of repercussions of those kinds of uh, of those sorts legal particularly legal repercussions of this i mean what she said about cbs and about oprah very very dangerous for her i did see in that reading that oprah wouldn't 
rise to the bait and would carry on supporting the Sussexes. So perhaps she's got away with it. But as far as I'm concerned, she is um, in dangerous, uh, on dangerous ground uh, with uh, all these uh, these claims. And the, she has only just started on this account, this Twitter account. Um, she does seem to be losing her grip a bit, uh, in my opinion that she is uh, thinking that this is a, a smart thing to do. So her hopes and fears with this uh, YouTube account, that is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. She is afraid that um, the charitable endeavors are going to fail. That is very clear from this card. The Six of Pentacles uh, is about um, giving and taking, but giving and taking in the sense of doing the right thing, sharing resources, sharing resources with those less fortunate than you are, and about uh, putting in and giving, uh, being seen to be benevolent, generous, all of that. It's in the reverse. I think she's very afraid that uh, she's going to be seen as possibly taking more than she is giving, taking out of that, those charitable foundations. And uh, we know that they have written a letter to the Times about that article in the Times about uh, charities, celebrity charities that seem to be um, not all they're cracked up to be and a uh, legal warning sent to the Times about that. She's very conscious that her reputation is in danger. We see it here with the Ten of Swords. That is a ruined reputation up there as her focus. And uh, so she is really very concerned about the way things are going for her at the moment. And the outcome card, and the outcome card, which has disappeared out of shot entirely, but it, it was there. <laughs> um, the outcome card is... Uh, really, will she be outed uh, in public? Uh, she already has. Um, I don't think, I think if she is, I don't think it's going to be uh, uh, a disaster for her. Um, the outcome uh, could be that it is noticed by one of those King of Cups that is very dominant in her life at the moment, Prince Charles, Prince William. Of course, her father is also a King of Cups, but uh, he, he noticed he wouldn't have any influence, I don't think, in, in it at all. But it does look as if uh, the royals could be onto her with that King of Cups uh, water sign man. Um, but it does not look as if they are going to take any direct action. It's just more, I get the feeling, that they are going to notice, they're going to observe that this is what she is doing. Seems like we already are onto it, in public anyway, in the public domain, but it looks as if the royals are gonna be onto it as she tries to undermine them. And uh, I don't see from that that they're going to do anything dramatic, anything public. They may try with the King of Cups, uh, may actually try to calm her down is the feeling that I have when I look at that card because it does seem to be that she really is quite desperate, that she's quite frantic at the moment that her plans and schemes have not worked out in the past. She's very frustrated about the fact that she cannot be on social media. She really wants to get her message out. She is excuse me, driving this thing as best she can. Uh, but it looks as if there is going to be some attempt to pacify her uh, as this goes on and just soothe her and calm her down. The word apology keeps coming out in hardcore kind of messages to the royal family. Desperate need for an apology from the royal family. I don't think she's going to get it, but she might behind the scenes get some kind of gesture, some kind of hand held out. It won't be from Prince William could be Prince Charles who tries somehow to just reach out and soothe those very ruffled crow feathers. So there you have it. Interesting. Do you go and watch uh, Keep NYC Mega Trash Free? Very interesting video. Really worth it. Thank you for watching me and I will hopefully see you on the next video.